and welcome to your daily sex IQ question at 5MI Weekly. Today's question concerns menstruation and pregnancy. Before sharing today's question, let's do a quick recap on what we've learned thus far from your sex IQ test. We've learned the average age people are first engaging in sexual intercourse, the percentage of men having extramarital affairs, the percentage of women who have engaged in anal intercourse, the probability of transferring HIV during anal intercourse, the hardiness of HIV, the biology of personal lubricants, how expansive sexual experiences are, and the fallacies of gaydar. What will we be learning today? True or false? A woman or teenage girl can get pregnant during her menstrual flow. That is her period. Give yourself a point if you said true. 51% of Americans got this question correct in 1991, and 71% of Americans got this question correct in 2016. A common fertility myth is women cannot get pregnant when they're menstruating or on their period. Indeed, conception is based upon the availability of sperm during ovulation. However, the timing of conception does not necessarily coincide with the timing of sexual intercourse. An ovum can live within the uterus for as long as two days, and sperm can live within the vagina or uterus for as long as seven days. Most women's menstruation cycles vary between 22 and 36 days and are dependent upon such things as stress, diet, weight, and even living conditions. For example, a woman's cycle may be 28 days one month and then 22 days the following month. If she ovulates just days after having sex while menstruating during her 22-day cycle, then she certainly could get pregnant. So what's this all mean? Although it's unlikely to get pregnant from having sexual intercourse during menstruation, it is possible. Both women and men should be aware of the wide variety of methods of contraception beyond counting days of an often variable menstrual cycle and select the methods that best match their personalities. That's all my time for today. Be sure to keep a running total of the number of questions you've answered correctly and the type of question you've answered correctly as well. Today's question was a biological type of question. See you tomorrow for sex IQ question number 10, a biological question about birth control.